everybody, it's time for Bible. Now, we get to learn about a Bible verse this week and a new animal. Have you thought about what animal we could be learning about? While you think about that, I'm going to tell us our Bible verse found in 1 Thessalonians 5.11. Thessalonians, that's a big word, isn't it? Well, that just means it's the people that lived in Thessalonica. And that's who the letter was to, and that's who Paul, the apostle, was writing to. So let's see what he said in this verse in 1 Thessalonians 5.11. He says, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. See, he said, keep keep doing it. Keep encouraging one another. Keep telling each other that you're doing a good job and helping each other to be built up in the spirit. So have you thought about what animal we're talking about this week? The otter. Yes, yeah, so we're talking about the otter this week. Now, have you ever seen an otter like at the aquarium or the zoo? Well, did you know that otters are very, very fun animals? They are, and they're also very, very smart. Otters can be trained to do all kinds of really cool tricks. They live in the water and they um, can swim and they can get, they get, um, clams and oysters and they crack them open and then they will put the clams on their bellies and eat them that's what they do when they're in the wild but when they're in captivity like at the aquarium or the zoo then they can be trained to do really neat tricks because they're so smart but here's the surprising part the trainers the people that work with them in in the aquarium they never punish the otters they never tell the otters that's not good don't do that no, no. See, to train the otters, they only use positive reinforcement. Do you know what that means? So positive reinforcement is what, what we would call encouragement. Trainers give the otters treats for doing a good job when they get their, when they get their tricks done. They use encouraging words, and each trainer has a special term that lets the otter know that it did well. Like, okay, good job. That sounds a little bit like your teachers, doesn't it? Saying, you can do it, right? Well, they also, the trainers reward the otters by giving them special attention and playing with them. Since the otters are never um, punished or, or discouraged, they want to learn. They learn really, really quick. And they respond differently to different commands when they get that positive reinforcement. And they have lots of other, um, lots of the trainers telling them that they're doing a good job. It makes them want to work even harder and learn new tricks. Well, you know, the Bible tells us that we should encourage each other also. See, an otter's trainer uses encouragement to bring out the best in the otter. And in the same way, you know, when we encourage one another, we can bring out the best in other people too. When we say kind words or send a nice card, we can make a person feel happy and hopeful and thankful. Encouraging other people is something that we can do. And it has a lot of power. Did you know that? Yeah, and that's why it's in our Bible verse. And it says, encourage one another. Build each other up just as in fact you are doing. So a hug or a pat on the back or a high five, a smile, even kind words. Those don't cost us anything. They're free. And yet those things can be more to us than a whole lot of money when we need encouragement. So today we're going to think of ways to obey God's word and encourage another person. It's fun and it's easy and you'll feel great too. Talk to you later, boys and girls.